Hi there, Sagittarius. As noted in my planetary introduction, five planets are retrograde at some point in time in April, and this energy is causing discord, disagreements, arguments. And with Mercury going retrograde, I believe April 9th, it will also be causing misunderstandings. And Venus has been retrograde and will be until mid-April, and this has been wreaking havoc with relationships. And each sign has been finding different ways to deal with this so that they can suitably progress. But for your spread, it doesn't seem like it's going to impact you so much. Let's go into the reading. The card on the bottom left for your sourcing and urgings for the base of your spine is the world. You completed a journey, a cycle, and it's an ending and new beginning. Lessons have been learned from the long road that you traveled through the major arcana cards and new seeds are planted for unconscious and conscious mind, body, and spirit. It's time to realize the bounty of your learning, earning and changing. It's time to rest and move on to your next challenge and not forget that you have to share the knowledge that you acquired. The presence of the world symbolizes development, fulfillment, and achievements. Saturn oversees the world card and it's more like a harvest of completion. The word Saturn in Latin means to sow, to sow seeds and now you've sowed seeds of happiness and success. And I think you've earned overwhelming accolades because the Three of Cups is the clarification card. It's a card of celebration. It's time to let your hair down and say, yeah, we accomplished something. There was trials and tribulations on the road going towards the world, but he says, ah, oh, what the hell? Life is like that, and you just shrugged them off. And the card for the pelvic and sacrum, for awakening and arousing, you received the Six of Swords. This is a card about moving on. But I don't think you're moving on like escaping or fleeing. It's more like you're just finding calmer waters. A place where you can rest and think and recharge your spiritual batteries. Think about your future personal growth and nurture your sensual and sexual self. The clarification card is the magician. He manifests something from nothing. The world is under his control. He's hardwired into some kind of source of human existence that's conjured up by just his pure willpower. He's a representative of Mercury, a planet of communication, and he brings rhetorical messages that transform the energy of ideas into substance. Now that you've moved on with the Six of Swords, you're building with the Magician. Because you also have the end of the cycle with the world. It's, start, it's time to start anew. But up in the Solar Plexus, you have the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords. The Six of Cups is about memories, childhood, childhood memories. It can also be about Somebody from your past walking into your life. With the clarification card of the Three of Swords, something happened. It was the heartbreak card. You've got an achy, breaky heart. It's usually about severing ties with people or things that you dearly loved. And I believe something happened within the last couple of years that really hit you hard. It's been smoldering inside you, and you have an injured heart. Every day you think about this person or thing, and that's no longer in your life. 
you haven't made any resolution about it. Now the center card for the heart of the matter, the situation, is the chariot. He's about moving forward, transportation. And for some things, maybe it's time to move forward a little bit. But he's also about discipline and strength and willpower, which connects over to the magician and his willpower. But he's looking for more of a spiritual evolution or seeking a, and a spiritual awakening. He wants to overcome opposing forces with confidence and control. And what's most important in the presence of the chariot is having self-control. The clarification card is the King of Cups. He's the apex of emotions and love. He's molten lava inside, but he can be fairly stoic on the outside. He's one card that can smooth injured emotions. And I have a feeling this means that you're going to see somebody. You're going to take a trip. It, it might just be a block away. It might be across town. It might be across the country to go see somebody that you care about. And this person is going to help smooth your injured emotions and open up your understanding for the loss that you have. You've been trying to make some sense out of this all and make some resolutions and resolve some of these high intense emotions that you've had recently. The card on the bottom right for the throat for communicating and teaching the Ten of Cups, it's the rainbow of cups that allows you to glimpse heaven. There's been a lot of storms before the rainbow came out. It's telling you now that the struggles are over. It's a card of happiness, stability, comfort. But the one requirement this card has is that you have to live a simple life and accept simple things. A complex life is never happy. And you've reached some emotional or loving connection somewhere because the clarification card is the Two of Cups, the mini lover's card, the card of unions, emotional bonds, sexual attraction, balance, respect, and harmony in relationships. It's also about reconciliations and healing. And maybe this is even something about meeting a kindred spirit. For the third eye, for seeing and envisioning, receive the judgment card. This can be about accountability for your behavior and maybe other people's behavior. It can be about forgiveness. Grace is actually unconditional forgiveness that we don't see often in life anymore. And you have to start not only forgiving other people for their indiscretions, but you have to forgive yourself. This is also about rebirth. It's the phoenix resurrecting out of the nest. The clarification card is the emperor. And to me, it's, it's saying that you're now taking control of your life. The emperor regulates his empire with words and rules, and you're now setting some boundaries for yourself and other people. Now, for the crown, for your knowing and understanding, you receive the Queen of Wands. She forces you to look at where you came from, where you're at right now, and where you're going, and associate it to consequences. Every decision has a consequence. It's also reminding you to not be tricked into impatience. 
and to mellow out and don't become annoyed by small, irritating things. She reminds you to become a pillar of strength with undistracted calm. Because she's a seer of ambition, determination, growth, and inner strength. The clarification card is the Seven of Cups. The card of difficult decisions. Every cup holds a poison or a prize, and you're not sure which one to choose and which one to lose. This card forces you to analyze your level of happiness and to conduct some soul searching. It bounces off the Queen of Wands card because she has you think about your past, present, and future, but this card also requires you to think about what you really want in life and what your purpose is in life and what will make you happy. The past card is the Eight of Wands. Sudden change. It's also saying the struggle is over. It's a high energy card that's propelling you forward. It's about the inner you and finding your higher self. It's like everything's falling into place all of a sudden. It's like maybe your cell phone didn't work for a week or didn't work well and all of a sudden every call is going through. Doors are swinging open for new opportunities and this could also be a card about messages. Maybe some kind of messages are coming to you. The future card on the right is the Five of Wands. It's the conflict card. But it's more about a skirmish of the meaning of life from the conflicts in your life. This is an inner struggle. This card challenges you to the battle of cooperative change. And at this point, it really is within yourself. I pulled a clarification card for the future card and you received the strength card. It's about controlling with gentle discipline. And this is coming back to the the chariot. He wants you to have discipline and self-control. It's about restraining your worldly passions and advancing yourself towards a spiritual domain of enlightenment. It wants you to master your challenges and not have them master you. You really have to look within, especially when you're struggling in darkness within yourself. Now the Doreen Virtue card, Messages of the Angels, it says to help heal the situation See the other person's point of view with compassion. The strength card reminds you about compassion. There's some healing that has to be done here, and particularly with the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords. It's the King of Cups that's the key to that. This is a person, maybe Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, not necessarily male or female, but there's a person that's going to talk to you and give you counsel and it's going to make a lot of sense and it's going to open up some doors of understanding. Let's go take a look at your spread. The center cards for the present, you receive the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles, a possibility of gifts of value, fates of fortune. But as with any Ace, this is just a promise. You're the one that's going to have to roll up your sleeves and do all the hard work, but this is actually giving you the potential for real-time success and money, even health, or eclipsing financial struggles. This is an auspicious time to take advantage of the possibility of new financial well-being. And the clarification card is the Three of Wands. How wonderful fire energy for Sagittarius. It's a card about movement, motion. The wheels are going around. You've made some plans and now you're going to make your plans into a reality. The cards up on top for your prospects. 
We received the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Here we're going with the, the decision cards, the two cards that I discussed. The Nine of Pentacles is about being a replete person and having the luxury of comforts. It can even indicate a retirement card, but not everyone is in retirement age, so it's just kind of meaning that you have a luxury of things around you that make you comfortable. And the Two of Swords is about opposing forces and having to decide between them. But it's a difficult decision because the woman's got her arms across her heart chakra. But swords are about intellect and logic. And I pulled a clarification card for the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords and you receive the High Priestess. Now this is about intuition and dreams and listening to the subtle messages that are coming from the High Priestess because she's bringing messages down from the cosmos. A lot of times it's things that go unnoticed. For one minute you remembered a, a dream and all of a sudden it slipped through your fingers and it was gone. Or there was a coincidence that happened and you, were, you thought, well how strange, but then you forgot about it. So this is a time to be a little more acute for small and subtle symptoms of things that appear to be connected together. Now down on the past, you received the two of wands and the eight of wands. Now it's just total fire energy for you. And the two of wands again is about decision, partnerships, balance. But it's about making plans. And here it's in the past and in the center for the present, you've got three of wands. And that's now launching into your plans and making your plans a reality. So it's saying that, yeah, in the past, you were making some plans, you were setting some goals, you had some dreams that you were working towards. And the clarification card is the Eight of Wands. It's a card about sudden change. Whoops, boom, but it's positive sudden change. It's like things maybe weren't working out, but all of a sudden it was smooth sailing. Everything was just kind of falling into place. I've had things happen to me and during my lifetime that's been like, wow, you just, it all fell into place and it was right. And I think that's what's happening here. The Eight of Wands can also be a message. And this goes back to the High Priestess. Perhaps the cosmos is connecting to the material world and putting it all together. Now down at the bottom for your problems, Receive the Two of Cups. Now this is the love card. Or supposedly the card for bonding. Since it's in the problem category, it's obvious that there's something going on and there's a little bit of turmoil going on in your emotions or perhaps your relationships. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a lover. It can be with friends and family. But something went awry because the clarification card is the Seven of Swords. Swords are our teacher and they can be harsh teachers. And this one's saying that somebody's stealing from you, but with having the Two of Cups there, it's probably someone stealing your emotions. You might be a little bit depressed and despondent. And I pulled another clarification card and you received Temperance. Maybe you became extremely angry over somebody stealing your emotions. And temperance is saying you gotta mellow out and moderate things a little bit and, you know, put your own behavior in check. You know, somebody might be stealing. Okay. The big thing is realizing that they're stealing something from you or some kind of shenanigans are going on behind your back. But now that you realize that you're going to have to deal with it in a mellow way. Calm waters. Make calm waters during a storm. And up for your possibilities. Are your possibilities for posterity and prosperity? 
You receive death and the emperor. You're in a transformation. You've got the ace of pentacles saying, yeah. You've got opportunities. you got the three of wands saying, yeah, you're moving on these opportunities. And now you have the emperor as the clarification card. And it's saying that you have to use his logic and intellect to make decisions. He runs an empire. He sets rules and regulations uses structure and organization for things to go in a civil manner. And this is what it's saying is that don't use emotions when you're making decisions because you're having a problem with the Two of Cups, which is about emotions. And up in your prospects, you've got the Two of Swords. It's about emotions too because the heart chakra is being covered. But it's also about intellect and logic. And it's telling you to use that along with the high priestess's intuition to make your decisions. So it wants you to meld the cosmic with the earthly. 